Once you've started the software, click on the new project. Give the appropriate name for, to the new project. Set the proper parameters and press OK. The next step is usually to set the material properties. Open the new material dialog box. Define the new material name. Afterwards, specify the material properties in the epsilon and mu fields. Choose the color and press OK. The next construction step for modeling a planar structure is usually to define the substrate layer. This can be easily achieved by creating a brick made up of substrates material in the box geometry section. Provide the values of x1, y1, z1, length x, length y, length z, change the material to the desired material and press OK. The next step is to model the hairpin filter on top of the substrate. To do so, we need to create a, the first feed line by using the path geometry. Provide its values of x1, y1, length x, length y, z and press OK. After creating this, we need to create some patches. The hairpin filter is made by adding many patches. Every time for creating the hairpin filter, you should select the PEC as the material for the hairpin filter. We need to repeat this procedure as many times to create the required patches. So enter the values of x1, y1, length x, length y, z and press OK. Repeat the same process again for the third patch. x1, y1, length x, length y, z and press OK. Again the same process, patch 4, x1, y1, length x, length y, z and press OK. Patch 5, x1, y1, length x, length y, z press OK. So we need to keep on repeating this process till we have created all the required 15 patches that that we need for the hairpin filter. Path 7 X1 Y1 Length X Length Y Z and press OK. Patch 8 X1 Y1 Length X Length Y Z OK. Patch 9 X1 Y1 Length X length y, z and press ok. Patch 10, x1, y1, length x, length y, z and press ok. So keep on repeating this process. 11th patch x1 y1 length x length y z ok patch 12 x1 y1 length x length y value of z and press ok 
patch 13 x1 y1 length x length y value of z and press ok patch 14 x1 y1 length x length y value of z and press ok so now the last patch patch 15 x1 y1 x1 y1 length x length y z and press ok after creating the required 15 patches we need to create the second feed line so x1 y1 length x length y value of z and press ok the next step is to add the ports to the hairpin filter for which the s parameters will later be calculated each port will simulate hairpin filter structure that is connected to the structure at the ports plane so open the voltage port dialog box and define the coordinates voltage ports are the most accurate way of where to calculate the s parameters of hairpin filter and should thus be used here so we need to create two ports enter the values of x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 change the port parameters and press ok similarly for the port 2 we need to give the port name and define the coordinates as we did previously values of x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 change the port parameters and press ok now we need to provide the value of zmax for the surrounding space after doing so we need to provide the value of zmin in the boundary condition setup box and press ok the next step is the solver settings for this go to the solver open the dialog box provide the various settings as per the formula once you've done so click ok next you need to save the project by providing its name once you save the project you need to start the simulation go to the solver press simulation button to start the calculation a progress bar will appear in the bottom which will display some information about the solver stages after that you can review the results